And we are live. Welcome everyone to the Using Working Capital to Scale Your Business webinar. Um, I'm going to wait a couple minutes. I see the people coming in is going up. We have a ton of people waiting, so this is super exciting. Um, while we wait for everybody to join us today, I would like to introduce myself, your host. My name is Amanda Hanono. I'm the business manager for Sellers Funding. With us today, our expert, our speaker, Nick Weeksner. He's a CFO. Um, he has over 15 years experience in the financial industry. He has a ton of good insight for us today. We're really, really excited to get started and dive in to why working capital is vital for scaling your business. Are you ready, Nick? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. It should be fun. Great. Let's jump right in. All right. So what you guys will learn today, why the access of uh, why the lack of access to growth capital is slowing sellers' trajectory. Um, when and how to know if funding is right for you, what working capital is and why companies need it, how to choose a solution that works well for your business. And then we're going to go over case studies. We're going to show you guys how this is actually working in real life for sellers like you and how they're growing their business using solutions like working capital. So let's look at Apple. Um, this is a great story. Nick is going to give you all the fun details, but essentially we're going to go into yeah. talking about how companies use working capital and debt to grow their business in a way that's actually not cannibalizing their success at all. So Nick, go ahead. Tell everybody well, all the juicy stuff. Sure, sure. I mean, the first thing I always like to start with is people uh, often equate personal debt to company debt, and they're actually, they couldn't be more different. When an individual takes out a credit card debt, that's not at all the same thing as a company taking out debt. And the easiest, simplest way to sort of show this in the real world is everybody's heard of Apple. They're one of the world's most valuable companies as they should be. They have great products and they sell just billions of dollars every you know, every quarter of, of stuff. They have $50 billion, give or take, in cash and another 44 billion in near cash. So that's like easy sell securities and that. So they have almost a hundred billion dollars in cash. Even with that amount of cash, they still use working capital to fund and grow their business. Why do they do it? There's two basic differences for a company. One, if your profits, so if you borrow money and sell more goods that are more profitable than the, the interest you're paying, that's a smart decision. Two, loans provide a tax benefit to Apple that they get to save on their tax bill. So they get to do it, which obviously using cash wouldn't have. So basically just really the point here is companies debt is very different than individual debt and company debt when done intelligently is a very, very, very good thing for growth. And we'll go through and show it. And just that's the way to sort of start it off that people and companies very different. Of course. Yeah. I mean, working capital at the end mm -hmm. is a tool, right? You're going to use it to grow. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the biggest growth barrier, as we were just talking about, is that people don't have access to cash. Um, business is booming. E-commerce is growing. But if you're not, if you don't have working capital, if you don't have the cash to scale your business, you're not going to be able to follow those trends. Nick, do you want to go ahead and dive into the numbers for the e-commerce sales from 2019 to 2023? Yeah, I mean, here the basic thing that I think everybody, you know, that, that I would look at um, as a business owner, entrepreneur in the e-commerce space, I would say, I want my growth to come earlier in this tide. This tide's going up. It's rising. And so what you want to do is you want to grow now so that you can compound that growth as the industry grows and as the business grows. So you want to see growth today because growth today over the next four years is added in each one of those years. And what you need to do to grow business is you need to move cash from next year into this year and grow. And then you're gonna see when the overall market goes up by 15, 18, 20, 22%, you're a bigger business, you're growing a bigger base, that same percentage, and you're gonna get a higher profit. And that's the point here is you wanna move transition growth to today and have that growth uh, help you over the next four years or five years or however long you want to run the business. Sure. I mean, we see here that 29% of businesses actually fail because they run out of capital. What are you using this capital for, right? You have inventory, advertising, expanded, research and development. Maybe you're 
designing new products. Maybe you're bringing, you know, you want to go into other marketplaces. There's so much application for this cash flow and, you know, investing in all of these areas of your business with the working capital solution is actually going to let you get way ahead um, of the competition, right? So let's go ahead. Is funding right for you? Now, it's hard to know because funding, knowing if funding is right for you really depends on your Amanda, where you're at. Can you hear me? Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead keep and going. Keep going. Um, Nick is having some technical, so that's great. I'm going to go ahead and fill you guys in here. Is funding right for you? It's really going to depend on where you're at in your business, right? Are your sales predictable and steady? Are you profitable? If your answer is yes, that's a really good sign. But the key question here is, is your business growing, right? Working capital is actually what's going to help you get there. Nick, are you back live with us? No. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and run through these numbers really quickly with you guys. Um, you'll see here, without the working capital, you're selling 300 units a month, right? We're looking at month one, month two, 300, 300, 300. It's consistent. You're selling through your units, $1,500 profit. At the end of the 18 months, you're seeing $27,000 in profit. Doing well. Profit is always is always going to be what's good for your business in the end. So ask yourself, is there more demand for your product? Are you investing enough in advertising? Could you sell more if you bought more units from your supplier? And would the price per unit stay the same if more volume is being sold? So the idea here is if you have more to sell, will you sell it? Okay. Perfect, Amanda. I'm back. I apologize for that. I, I was, uh, headphones died on me, but uh, I apologize. But I heard what you were saying, and, and the exact, you're, you're exactly right, that what you need to look for is are you selling a widget or a car battery that you could expand it and sell to other model cars or sell more if you're selling lipstick, can you sell more colors or more varieties? Or whatever it is that you sell, that if that good, if your piece of the pie, if you're selling, let's say on Amazon and you only represent, you know, 5% of the market, you obviously could grow the units that you sell and you'd be able to sell more. Your shortening of this, in this stylized example, you only can buy 300 units a month, which is why you're making 15,000 a month. And this is a great business. I mean, you're making $27,000 over 18 months, 1500 a month. This is a real business business line. If you have multiple units, because you can always analyze things within your company by SKU or however you look at it. But in this example, this this thing is selling fifteen thousand a month, three hundred, and you're just a small portion of it. And that's that's what we're going to talk about. Is that all you need to do, or could you do better? Could could we increase this, and how could we increase this? Right. And you'll see here that success is success, right? You're profiting, but you're staying flat. Now let's take a look at what can happen when you actually go ahead and invest in your business using working capital. Like we mentioned previously, you can invest in ad spend, in inventory, in expansion, but we're just gonna take a look at what happens if you just invest in inventory. Go ahead, Nick. Yeah, so what you see here is when we, you know, when you get a working capital loan, you can use it for whatever you want, right? You can use it to increase your ad, you can use it to increase your inventory, you can use it to expand to a new marketplace. In this example, we're gonna focus on what if you just buy more inventory? And here's the basic, just to make it as simple as possible. You're selling 15,000 a month. You come to somebody and they give you what's called a revenue advance. They give you $14,400 today. You pay back 15,000. So basically it's a $15,000 loan with a 4% discount. And so you get the 14,400 day one. You use that to order an additional 800, uh, 720 units. So now the next month, instead of selling 300 units, you're selling 1,020. And when you sell 1,020 units, you make 51,000, which means that your costs, after your costs, you're making 5,100. Now look, you do have to pay the loan back, right? It's not free. So now you're paying 2,500 a month for the next six months, that's $15,000. So over the next six months, you're now making 1,600 
dollars a month. So that's still higher than what you were making in the other example. But obviously, after month seven, that interest drops off. You're making fifty one hundred. So over eighteen months, you've made seventy three thousand dollars. And this doesn't even use, like I told you, Apple uses loans because of the tax advantages. We're not putting tax advantages in there, but those are obviously there. We're not saying that you're taking the increased profit and doing more ad spend and also growing your business, but all those things are there as well. But this is just the loan. We've grown from 27,000 to 73,000 just by taking one month upfront to buy more inventory and grow that, grow this segment or this unit or your business um, by that amount. That's great. And another benefit that's not being shown here, guys, we're, we're being as conservative as possible to show you really what the working capital can do. So we went from a $27,000 profit over 18 months to a $73,000 profit over 18 months. But this is not even including the benefits and the improved relationships that you'll have with suppliers when you start increasing your orders. It's not including the economies of scale when you purchase more, and you pay less per unit and you're making more mar more on margins there as well. So this is just your this is just the bottom of the level of, you know, in depth of really what this profit could actually look like. So yeah, we're going to go more, ahead. That's exactly right. There's there's all these other avenues that you can increase it. So that's totally correct. Yeah, it, this is this is like the minimum, right? Here's of how minimum. you can that's be right, doing. That's right. That's right. So, how to choose a solution that works for you? There are so many options for working capital solutions and what you use depends on a lot of things. It depends on what you prefer. It depends on what stage of the business you're at from daily cash advances to mer uh, merchant cash advances, term loans, lines of credit, credit cards. Nick, do you want to go through what some of these are, what their benefits, where their shortfalls are and really how they apply to the tools, you know, that sellers need to fund their businesses? Exactly. Yeah, I, I think this is fairly quick. And I think that people know, like, you know credit cards, those are really, really high interest. That's not going to be ideal. But a lot of you out there probably use your credit cards to start growing your business. And you're able to have growth <clears throat> above the percentage you were paying on your credit card that still made it worthwhile. Then you move and you can get a line of credit. A line of credit is more flexible to pay. That's like from a bank, but you have to be able to be eligible by the bank. And it's a long process. It's sometimes very difficult. Merchant cash advances. I'm sure you get, as a business owner, dozens of emails a day about MCA, and it's an expensive, you know, maybe close to credit card, but maybe larger amounts. Um, and then you have term loans and daily cash advances, which is where we offer uh, a lot of products. Daily cash advances is moving your money forward two weeks so you don't have to wait for Amazon or Walmart to pay you. You can get your money every day, and then and you can use that money to buy more inventory and speed up your flywheel. And then term loans, which are what we're discussing here, these working capital, where you're taking that 15000 paying it back and, and growing your business. And that's going to be at a lower interest rate, um, like the one we show here. You know, We have people that are eligible for as low as a 2% discount, a 4% discount is the one we're showing here, which many people are eligible for. And, um, and, and that helps grow the business. So those are the choices that are out there. And, and obviously, we'll, we'll open up at, you know, now or at the end if anybody has questions specific to any one of these and we can answer it but generally that that's this is the market of growth capital available uh, to business owners um, today great so I actually want to switch everybody's attention if you can um, on the top right of your screen you should see some options to look at polls so to our viewers out there I'd love to know if you have used funding to grow your business. It's a yes or no, go ahead, submit your votes. And I'd love to see what types of working capital solutions you have used previously. So if you guys can just take a second, take a peek, drop your vote, takes one second. Love to get to know more about what you guys are up to these days. Awesome. While those answers go through, um, we'll move on. If And also, guys, just so you know, the chat is open. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to interrupt us. Drop in. We're here for you guys. So just let us know. Uh, we'll walk you through whatever questions you may have. So back to the juicy stuff. How to choose a solution that works for you. As we mentioned earlier, it's really going to depend on your preferences and where you're at in your business, right? It's going to, you're going to consider term. What's the cost to you? Um, where you are at in your business? What are your options and ease of application? Now, how is sellers funding different? 
we're working globally. We have product flexibility. We have a really quick and easy application. We want to grow with you. We want to be your growth partners. And we have world-class service. Um, part of this that's so important is that there are a lot of options. And there is something for everyone here, um, which is it's really, it's really good to say because you know, Sellers Funding in general is a company that wants to grow with you. It's, it's the ultimate goal. And when you have so many options, you want people who are going to walk you through what those options are. The world-class service that we talk about, you guys can see for yourselves. You can check out our trust pilots, see our reviews, and you'll see that people are mentioning their account managers by name. Everything is going to be tailored to the sellers, and we will be your advisors. We will tell you, this is what could work best for you. Nick, what do you have to say about any of this? Well, I think, I think the answer is we were founded out of e-commerce seller, that, that, that the whole genesis and, and, and our, the existence of sellers funding came from our founders who were e-commerce sellers who said they weren't able to get growth capital to grow an incredibly successful business that was growing 30% month over month, and they couldn't find acceptable levels of funding. And they said, this isn't right. And, and the point is, everybody out there who's here today, the people that are out selling on e-commerce, they're growing these great businesses. And traditional banks and other lenders have not understood that this is Main Street. This is, you know, your, your e-commerce storefront is the same as the old, you know, luncheonette storefront that a bank would lend to back in the day and, and do it. And we look at what you do as a valuable, uh, monetizable, something that we understand and we can lend into. And, you know, we'll hit this in the, in the stories later about people we've worked with. But the part that I love the best is I've watched companies that we started off with a product very small, did multiple different products, and are now doing larger working capital loans. And they've grown, you know, 10, 20, 30x from where they started. And we were a part of it. They did the hard work, but we helped them by giving them cash to facilitate their hard work to have even greater results, which is always yeah. great. It's, it's, it's really incredible. And having options is really the key, right? So let's go ahead. Let's take a look. What happens when you take advantage of multiple working <clears throat> capital loans? Well, um, first of all, Amanda, I do have to apologize. I know that I, I, I know this is a lot of numbers. And I know that I said, look, we got to have this in here. And I apologize. Uh, but there are a lot of numbers here. But I think it's super important. And, and hopefully we'll clarify what, what, they all, what they all are and what they mean. I'm sure um, you'll go through it real quick and easy. <laughs> well, look, I, 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 we try to highlight there's three numbers in green, and those are going to be the ones that I want you for all of us to focus on. This is the same example we started with. It's the $15,000 a month sale, and they take out $14,400, which allowed them to sell $1,200 to $1,020. And when they sell $1,020, they're making the, the – Profit of six thousand one hundred fifty. They're paying back the loan, and they're doing it. But you know what? After paying back the loan for three months, so they've half paid back that first loan. They said, "You know what? We've grown. We want more money because there's more room for us to expand into a new market, a new segment, or maybe this product. We're we're only one percent of the market. We now want to try to grow and become one and a half percent or two percent of the market." And so then, what they do is they take out. 48,000. So that's $50,000 they're going to pay back. They get 48,000 today and they put that in in month 4. They order that much more where now they can sell 3,420 units. And when they sell 3,420 units, they make 171,000 in the month. They have higher profit. Now you can see below they're paying both loans back. So for 3 months they're paying both loans back because obviously you do have to pay back the loan and they do that. Then after six months after the second loan, all the loans are paid back. Now, that same business that started out at 1,500 a month is now profit to the owner, $22,650 a month. And you can do whatever you want with that money. You could plow it back in and make your business grow faster. You can use it for uh, buying a house, uh, paying for education for your children or whatever you want to do with that because that's cash free cash flow to you and basically what this shows you is over that same 18 month period it's two hundred and seventy four thousand dollars not twenty seven thousand not seventy three thousand but two hundred and seventy four thousand dollars that's what working capital can do and remember we're not doing the tax advantages 
We're not doing the lowering your unit costs because now you're buying 3000 a month versus 300. We're not doing all of the scalable parts of your business that where your cost of your business doesn't scale one-to-one with selling more of it. So we didn't do any of those things, but all of those things exist. So this to me just sort of shows what really high growth, intelligent companies are doing to increase their growth, to grow today so they can have that higher base of growth for a longer period of time. Yeah, I mean, it it's right there. It's right in front of us. Um, and I think it's important to look at the fact that this profit is including what you're paying back against your loans. It is meant to be a tool. Working capital is not meant to put you under. Working capital is supposed to push you where you wanna go. Um, some of these variables that we're factoring into these numbers, um, I'm sure everybody knows what's going on. We've got a bunch of smart people with us today, but just in case, let's go over some of what these va uh, variables are, namely the discount rate. I know sometimes interest rates, discount rates, there's a lot of going on. It's hard to know what really is being offered to you. Um, so Nick, why don't you go ahead and describe what's happening here with this 4% discount rate? All right, so the 4% discount rate um, means that when you go, what you're going to pay back, so you're going to pay back $50,000, but you're going to get 4% less than that today. That's $48,000. So you get $48,000 today, but you're going to pay back fifty dollars over six months. So all you do is 50 divided by six, and that's the 833. That's what you pay back. But in addition, I want to jump. Donovan asked a great question. And he's, his question is, he's at the point of staging his business for growth. How and when will funds be available? That's a great question. So number one, first that you're going to start with is we look for companies that have been selling for at least three months so that we can see your track record over three months. That's, so we don't need two years. We don't need five years or anything like a bank. But as long as you've been in existence for three months, we look at what your sales are. We've got products for people who are selling at all parts of the spectrum. Let's just say that you're selling at you know, 30,000 a month and you come to us and you've been doing it for, for six months. We could look at you and we would tell you what you're eligible for. Daily cash advance, if you wanna get your money earlier and get it today, we'd tell you that. Or if you want a loan or a revenue advance, we'd tell you what you're eligible for. If, when we tell you what you're eligible for, we could have that funds available to you within two days. And the process is, you know, can be done in as short as two days. Some of it is you need to do some stuff so we can't control the client side. So we you, you need to put in some some documentation and, and some stuff, but it's, it's actually very, very uh, streamlined and not hard. So I believe if I answered your question, it's just the funds will be available within two days from when you start, or if you're at the end of the process and you're doing it, they'd be available as long as you request it prior to 4 p.m. and be available that day in your account wired to you. Yeah, I it's... The whole idea is that it's supposed to be quick and easy for you. Some institutions, they take a really long time to actually get you your funds. It requires months of review, It's depending on what you need. Um, the three months of sales are going to work for you when you're applying for a daily advance. That's the type of working capital that we offer. Six month sales will generally be required for the credit limit, the work, other working capital solutions as well. Um, but the fact is we have, we have products for everyone, apart from our working capital solutions. But since we're focusing on that today, that's probably what we'll stick to. So three months for a daily advance and six months for other working capital. Um, but once you complete the applications, you can have your funds available within 48 hours. It's The whole point is that we're there for you. Usually when you're at the point of needing funds, we want to be able to provide them to you as quickly as possible because you're, you have the need. And we want to make sure that we can push you as forward as you can go. So let's, um, Donovan, you let us know if we answered your question. If not, you can pop in another comment. We're happy to go back and address. Absolutely. So talking about the impact of working capital on our clients, let's take a look at this. This for me is one of my absolute favorite slides. So easy to understand and just so clear in the terms of what happens when you're using working capital. E-commerce as as an industry is growing. We know this, we see it. It's part of the trajectory between, you know, the convenience and the safety that issues that have been happening. But apart from that, the average seller selling on online is growing 8.9% year over year. The average seller, uh, seller's funding seller is actually growing 19.9%. That's over 200% more 
than the average seller. That alone is huge. 8.9 growth year over year is already a great feat. Funneling in the working capital, you're growing at 19.9% year over year on average. The very top sellers funding users are clients who are using multiple products at a time, taking out more than one kind of loan. Those top users are actually growing 160% year over year. It's huge. I mean, there's no questioning that. Yeah. I mean, look, the, the, the answer to this slide is working capital is a cheat code. And basically what it is, is a cheat code to growth. And what this shows you is being an e-commerce seller, very smart because e-commerce is where business is going and you're able to leverage a lot of the fundamental advantages uh, of that. And that's, that's great. So you're going to do well because 8.9% growth is superb and, and, and awesome and nothing to shake, uh, shake a stick at. But you know, what's better is 20%. And that means, if you come and you get working capital, you're going to grow faster because, again, you're accelerating that growth forward. And then the top users, those are the people, almost everybody in that group that's in the seller's money, those are, those are our top 30 clients, our largest users. They have taken a larger base. So it's harder to grow a larger base. But they've taken that larger base and grown it faster because they've layered multiple products and they continually say, I want to grow today. I want to make hay when the sun is shining and I want to get my orders into my uh, suppliers. Uh, it may have they're overseas. Let's get them in now so that they're ready for, for, the, for, for selling. And I want to do all that now so that when it comes time to do all of that, I have all the inventory. I can market it. I can advertise it. And I'm going to grow. And they, they're growing at 160%. So really what you see here is the proof is in the pudding and, and, and taking working capital really just helps you grow. And that, that's really the underlying point of, you know, as long as you have uh, a good that there's a market for that can take the increased amount of things and it's profitable for you to sell, then, then working capital is a good idea. Yeah. So Kim asked a great question. Hi, Kim. Um, do you have a minimum of monthly remit revenue amount or net profit to be qualified for the fund? This is a great question. So yes, the minimums ha are net sales. Um, this can range between 10,000 to 20,000, 15 to 20,000 per month. Um, however, if you're not there yet, like we mentioned, we do have products for everyone that can help build you to get there. Um, and these can be discussed on a case by case basis with an account manager. Don't feel, don't be shy. Come talk to us. We're here to help you. We're here to help you grow. If you're not there yet, if you're not at that $15,000 a month uh, sales minimum, that is no problem. We can help you get set up with a digital wallet, with a prepaid business card and the history with us will help you get there to move on to that next phase of getting your working capital. So as we discussed with Donovan, you need to be selling for at least three months of sales history to get uh, to be able to qualify for a daily advance or six months to be able to qualify for another working capital loan. Right. Um, however, uh, with the sales, net sales should be 15 to $20,000 per month. If not, we can get you set up with other products and help you build toward that. We're here for and, you. We want you to grow. And, and, and just also came to jump in there just or, or to everybody out there is one of the things like, for example, we just did a loan uh, a week ago to somebody who applied and started a digital wallet with us because they were just starting out. They literally were in their first month of launching their product. And that was five months ago. And over that five months, they've worked, they've grown their business. And then we now just did a, a, a term loan with them that they're excited, they're they're doing, they're already growing again and they want to do it. So we can be at any part. We want to be on your life cycle of your business from the very beginning to as long as you want to grow it. And then to where you, get to a point where it's so profitable and so big you sell it or you just you just take the residual payouts to to to, to live uh live on a beach or wherever whatever, whatever you want to do with it but uh donovan asked uh that he's working with a platform do one of your partners can fund me integrate so we work with uh ebay uh shopify uh magento um walmart. Amazon, amazon walmart uh all of those and so what, really when we send you money, you would get it either to your bank or to your digital wallet, which is an account we set up. So, so we can work with anybody 
on anything. And so the answer is yes, we would send the money either to your bank or to a digital wallet that we set up for you. Great. Donovan, hope that answered your question. Kim, hope that answered your question. Um, if anybody else has questions, please feel free to drop them in. Um, we're happy to go over all of them with you guys. Yeah. Moving on. Okay, this is my favorite part. Um, I want to take some time here. My favorite part is showing you guys really what working capital can do for businesses, how it applies in real life. These are our clients. These are real people. This is not just us showing you hypotheticals of what could and can be. This is what is. So let's start with Gumi. Gumi is an American-based company. They sell baby apparel and accessories. They saw huge growth in 2020 but they could not keep up with inventory due to the availability of fast funding options. As we mentioned before, you know, sometimes when you're requesting working capital from traditional lending institutions, it takes time. Um, there's a lot going on there, but you need stuff quickly, especially when you're ordering products from your suppliers. It takes time to get that order in, to receive the product and make sure you maintain that healthy inventory levels so that you can continue, um, you can continue to sell, right? It's like we mentioned in the in the study we looked at earlier. If you have 300 units to sell and you're selling through those 300 units, imagine what happens when you inject cash into your business and you were able to increase that 300 a month to 1500 a month and so on and so forth. So we provided Gumi with their funding within 24 hours and they were able to maintain optimal stock. Their funding from working capital, they were able to qualify for $30,000 in working capital to begin with, but their business grew so much um, through, through the cash flow injection and through their investment in their inventory that they're now using working capital loans of 400,000 plus. So that says a lot about where their business is growing, going and has gone and will go when they started their business using, when they started uh, working with us on their working capital solution with $30,000 up to now they're using $400,000 plus. Yeah. I mean, basically what you see there is that's the, that's the revenue growth. It's a, a proxy. The size of the loan is a proxy for, for where, where the revenue is going. And the point is there, you know, we have lots of examples of, of clients who have started at one level of working capital loan and then increased. Cause again, that example where we saw the layering, the first one was four, it was 14,000. And the second one was, you know, 48,000. Like that's what happens. Cause you see that in the real world, it works like that, and that's what Gumi and, and dozens of others that we have that have done this fit the same path. Great. So next, uh, we're going to take a look at BNN Apothic. Um, it's a company based in Germany, and they sell pharmaceuticals. Now, the challenges. What were they? Unexpected sales rush caused crash um, cash constraints to cover the costs associated with the growth of the warehousing and staff. So this is a really good example too how working capital doesn't only apply to investing in your inventory. Even though that's a super valuable application of working capital, we're taking a look at here, they're covering their growth needs for warehousing and staff, and there's a lack of funding options in Germany. So this company secured a working capital solution to regain control of its cash flow, focus on growth. Thanks to the additional funding, the company was poised to take on new markets and is, um, establish itself as a global brand. So here's another example of the effects of working capital. Not only are you selling more, not only are you supporting your expansion operationally, right? The trickle down effect here is now you're able to expand ge geographically, globally, and actually go ahead and break into new markets entirely. And and just, we have a question between, um, after Benen uh, from Kim about her business, um, which is, she says she has an FBA business that's at under 5K in revenue and selling for three years. Um, I would say to that one is you should reach out and, and call Felipe here, does daily advance. Sounds like you could be very, very good uh, candidate to get your money sent to you daily so that you can use that money to advance uh, your business faster and, and grow your business uh, from where it is now to, to higher amounts. And then as you grow, you, you'd be obvious, you'd be, um, you'd be, you'd be, you know, you'd be eligible for, for the other, uh, you know, for, for the other, for the other products. So that's a great, it's a great way to start, Kim. It's a phenomenal entry to the products that we offer. And, um, you know, like I said, you can call in and I, I'm sure you'll talk to Felipe and he, he'd be glad to help you. Uh, yep. With that. And Mandy asks a great question. So 
does the funding have to be used for inventory only? No, 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 no. The answer is absolutely not. Um, you can be using this for ad spend, inventory, expansion, new product development, team expenses. This, this is a business loan. This is not just to be funding your inventory. You saw with Gumi, um, the one of the case studies we just went over, that they use their working capital solution to fund inventory, which is very important and very common. In our current example, they were using their working capital solution to cover those costs and growth in warehousing and staff. So the working capital solution can be used for any of your business expenses. And it's something that you can go over definitely with um, your account manager, any of those other deep questions as well. But yeah, this is gonna be applied to all sorts of things that relay, um, that your business will rely on to grow. Uh, look, the bottom line is again, you're running a successful company. You're welcome. You you need to use that money where you need it. You know where your business needs. We're not going to tell you where your business needs the money. The point is you can take that money and put it to where it's going to best help your business grow. And that could be in a whole wide range of, of areas. Sure. I mean, take into example, um, you know, stores that have just started selling they've been around for a few months they're selling consistently every month but they want to be able to sell more inventory they're they're going to invest in their ad spend they're going to invest in different products you know it's going to be up to you entirely so i love this story this last case study that we're going to go over our success story this is the dream this is the end game this is what we're you know, trying to help everybody get to if that's what they want. Viking Revolution, they're a US-based brand. They sell men's skincare and grooming. With the high demand of products and multiple product launches, Viking Revolution required large cash outlays for inventory, and this was putting a significant strain on their cash flow. As we're talking about, you start growing, you need cash in your business to help you keep following that path, and you don't, you don't want to stagnate. So what happens? They get an access. Uh, they get access to working capital from us. They were able to invest in uh, inventory enough to pay suppliers on time. And you know what happened after that? After they grew so much with our working capital solution, Nick, why don't you lay it on them? <laughs> they, they they got bought. They got bought because the point is, there's these people out there. Everybody's heard aggregators. They are buying up businesses, but they need to be of a certain size. You know, they really want to get companies that are doing you know a minimum of a million dollars a year, and they want to buy those businesses. So we helped Viking grow big enough that they got bought. And then those owners get all of that money in their pocket for the business they created. And that's awesome. It, they're psyched. They're good. They're over the moon with, with what it is. And it's a great, uh, it's a great end game. It's what a lot of e-commerce people, uh, entrepreneurs want to do and actually leads nicely to the question we just received, which is can working capital be used for all e-commerce business models, Drop shipping, wholesale, private label, or is it better suited to one type? To be the very, answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. We, your again, your business type. That's you. Just do your business because we all of those are successful businesses. And so what we do is we lend to your business, and we have people who are in all of those, and they're all great areas to be in. And so we lend all. Great. So let's do a quick recap here. Gumi had inventory. Uh, had cash flow constraints, weren't able to um, weren't able to keep up with their needs for inventory. They got the cash they needed. They were able to grow so much that they went from using thirty thousand dollars loan from us to over four hundred thousand um, dollars. Bien and Apothic, they needed to they needed to support their growth, and they were able to be able they were able to become a global a global brand. That's huge. Lastly, Viking Revolution. They needed the cash to support their business and they were able to grow their business in such a way that they were attractive enough to be able to sell their business. That's the end goal, right? Now, that's the dream. That's the dream. And that's one, thing the dream. To tie, one thing also remember is the other point is we deal with all the different currencies. We have, we have capacities to, to work with people in different countries. We have, we have a worldwide footprint for our entrepreneurs, for our businesses and for everywhere. Uh, where they sell. And I want to get, there's a great question from Alfredo Boras. He says, is it better to get a loan than sacrifice equity? Here's an easy answer to that one. Equity is a very, that's a source of capital. So, so equity is a very, very good source of capital. Number one, it tends to be very expensive. And what I mean by expensive is somebody comes to you and says, I'll give you, and I'll make up, I'll give you $100,000, but I want 30% of your business, which means you lose three tenths of your business to that person. 
forever and you never get it back. Now, that's great because on the other side, you don't need to pay it back. You're not that 100,000 you can use to grow the business. So I would say that loans represent much less dilutive, which means you're not losing your ownership of the company. And when you pay the loan back, you still own 100% of your company and you get the 100% of the growth. And they actually can be paired together. So I would not say don't do equity. Equity is great, but I would say grow yourself up to a size so that when you give up your equity, you're not having to give up as much of the pie as you would if you do it when you're still super, super small would be um, would be my, my answer there. Yeah, and some of our competition competition actually do take equity. We don't, yeah. you know, we have your best interest at heart. Steve asks, how do you calculate daily advance for your customers? So it just depends on your sales. Um, we will advance you between 70 and 90% of your sales every day. Uh, so that's how we calculate what we offer as a daily advance. Uh, Mike asks, do you work with CBD brands? If you're selling CBD on Amazon and Shopify, we absolutely do. So be sure to reach out to us so we can help you with that. Um, keep the questions coming, guys. We're here. So those are a lot of great questions. If we didn't touch on exactly what you needed, um, let us know. I actually want to go back to the question from Taha about um, is it good for all business models? Is working capital good for all business models? So for drop shipping, um, the daily advance is actually ideal. Um, the bulk of our business is private label for the working capital, but it you know it applies to just about everything. So make sure you reach out to us so we can make sure all your needs are met in working capital. So let's move on. What are the final takeaways? So guys, here we are. Um, final takeaways. As you guys can see, working capital is a tool. It's not meant to drain you. It's not meant to put you in a position of, you know, of insecurity of how you're going to fund this. So how to know working capital is right for you. Is your business growing? Is, um, is it steady? Is it profitable? Is it growing? If it's not growing, it's probably because you need the cash to push it there. Nick, any final takeaways? Yeah, I'd say, you know, the first thing is you want to understand your business. Um, that's something we can help. So even if we don't um, end up offering you a loan, we always give our um, clients uh, just a rundown of how we look at the business in terms of what we, we determine is their free cash flow. And free cash flow, just for those of you that don't care about jargon, it means after you've sold your stuff, however expensive it was for you to get it to them, ship it to them, pay people, pay for it, all that, you have some residual cash. That's what we look at because that's the business profit that we're going to lend against. And when we determine that, that's how we figure out how we can get forward you months of that into today so you can make use of it today because we understand that your business is sustainable and will continue to do that. So the, the, the answer here is learn what you have available to you. Learn what you might use it for. And learn, like, say, hey, I have, I could get $50,000 today. What would I do with that? What would I do with that $50,000? We're happy to try to give you ideas, but ultimately, you guys are the business entrepreneurs. You're running your business. That might be hiring somebody, getting a warehouse, increasing your inventory order. Those are your decisions. But the point is, know what it is. Know what you could get today. Find it out and think about what you would do with it. That would be my take. So our... Our focus today was on using working capital solutions to scale your business, to help your business grow. However, seller's funding is a full suite of financial tools for e-commerce sellers. We do have products for everyone. If you're watching here because you're interested in using working capital, but your business is not quite ready, we're gonna, we can help you scale to that. We can help you get there. We have so many products that can help you guys. We have the digital wallet. It's a global collections account. You can receive marketplace payouts. You can receive your daily advance. Um, you can pay your suppliers. You can do a lot with that. That's going to help your business a lot through moving on. We have a prepaid business card. A prepaid business card is also going to help you guys. Um, you load your money up. You're going to get unlimited 1% cash back. And through using these products that fall outside the scope of the working capital, the daily advances, the things that you're ramping up to, this will help you get there. So by any, by all means, please feel free to reach out to us and we're going to be able to help you get there. And any other one, questions before we go? One thing, oh. I wanna, one thing I want to end with is hopefully 
everybody on here understands that debt for your business shouldn't be a scary thing, shouldn't make you feel that this is, it's not a credit card debt, it's a good thing. Remember, go back to Apple. Apple is the most successful company. They use working capital. So just really hope that everybody on this, it, it, you know, understands the, the value of working capital and, and um, understands how it could be an awesome tool for growth to make their, their, their e-commerce venture grow even faster. Okay, one final question before we hop off, and thank you, everybody. Kim wants to know what kind of documents and reports you need. Um, we need articles of incorporation, proof of address, uh, proof of ID for anyone with ownership, um, I think 25% or more, bank statements for the last three months, structure of the business, balance sheet, P&L in certain situations, and also we do a soft credit pool, so it's not going to affect your credit at all. Um, you have to link your store using your token, and that gives us access to see how your business is performing. Um, and yeah, ultimately, we're going to get full scope, and that's how we'll be able to help you best. Um, so thank you, everybody. Um, we'll reach out to everybody who watched uh, with a message after. Please feel free to reach out to us. We'll send a Calendly link so you can reach out to one of our account directors. And we look forward to chatting with you on our next webinar. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Thank Bye. you. Bye.